Hello YouTubers, this is Mir once again, and today I am looking at the top five draft picks in Carolina slash Hartford Whalers history, oh boy. Now through the years, the Whalers, who were one of those 1979 expansion teams coming over from the WHA, like the Edmonton Oilers, Winnipeg Jets, and I know Calgary relocated, Edmonton, Calgary, Hartford, and Quebec Nordiques, that's right, yeah. It's funny that three of those teams relocated, like, not even 20 years later. But anyway, let's look at their top five draft picks. Now, there is some honorable mentions. Ray Ferraro, Jeff O'Neill, Sammy Kampen, and Sylvain Turgeon, and Blaine Stoughton. Who those who aren't familiar with Blaine Stoughton, uh, he is one of three players, I believe, to have 100 points in their first three NHL seasons is quite amazing. Now let's get on with this list. Number five is Eric Cole, who was drafted uh, 71st overall in 1998 and he's ninth overall in team history in points and goals. But I think Eric Cole, more of it was his leadership on the ice and somewhat of his playing ability and especially in the playoffs. Uh, and especially that 06 run where he broke his neck during the season and he comes back and plays in game six. They're not very good. Comes back game seven and has a really, really good game seven and they win the Stanley Cup. Now, you could say that that was good for Carolina. You could also say that's the demise of the Edmonton Oilers. But uh, Anyhow, uh, number four on this list is uh, the 56th overall pick in the 1982 draft, Kevin Deneen, who is third in team history in points and goals, number four in assists, and is a one-time All-Star. Now, Kevin Deneen was around that time of some really awful trades that the Hartford Whalers made. They traded him, they traded Ron Francis, they traded everybody, and it wasn't a shock that the Hartford Whalers were a small market team, but it's trades like that that led to them actually re probably relocating to Carolina. Number three on this list is the all-time winningest goalie, I believe, in the team's history, because the goddamn Wikipedia doesn't have this statistic of the team records of the Carolina Hurricanes. So I had to look it up and it went through a lot of uh, things, but I believe he is the number all-time winningest goalie with 242. Um, the 2006 Conn Smythe winner. He went 24th overall in 2002. He's a one-time All-Star. Also has the most record for team wins in a season by goaltender with 39. Um, and for most shutouts in a season with six with Artie Surbay and Kevin Weeks, which, oh my God, Kevin Weeks is on this list. Is there, oh my God, he was a bad goalie. Great backup, but you can never rely on him for a full season. Um, But anyway, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this, the top two, which I don't think it's really a doubt. There's two and then there's a one, and it's very obvious. Um, number two is Eric Stahl. This number two overall pick in 19, or in 2003, blah, 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 not 19, 2003, 2003. He's a four-time All-Star. Number two, or has the franchise record in a playoff points, which by a lot of people, they played, he played in a lot more playoff games than let's say the old Whalers ever did. The Whalers were a team that could get to the first round, might get to the second round, but they'll never get past that. They weren't ever built that well to do that. Um, or the French for the points, number two all time in goals, assists, and points. And right now is their best player. Eric Stahl is their best player right now. Maybe by the end of his career, he'll be number one. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's even... He could do it, Like, but you think about it, he's already put 11 years into the league, and it's kind of 
if he if he'll do it. But anywho, number one is I think like uh, Anaheim, Boston, Buffalo, not Calgary, but the Hartford slash Carolina. There is only one number one, and it is Ronnie Franchise Ron Francis. Fourth overall in 1981. The franchise leader in goals, assists, points, games played, most assists per season. Four-time All-Star, Hockey Hall of Fame induction in uh, 2007. Number two all-time in the NHL in regular season assists. Number three all-time in games played. Uh, number four all-time in all-time points. What can you say about Ron Francis that... He was the heart and soul of those Whalers. And that dumb dick trade that gave, pretty much gave the Pittsburgh Penguins two Stanley Cups off that trade by trading not only Ron Francis in the deal, but you also traded Ulf Samuelson, who some would say Ulf Samuelson, and he's just a goon, whatever. But Ulf Samuelson was a really good defenseman. He was solid and... It's got it's trades like that that you look back on and say, how did you do that to trade? And what they got back was just nowhere in return. And it really did. And he only spent his career in two team or three teams actually, the uh Whalers, the Penguins. Whalers slash Hurricanes, the Penguins. He played a part of a season or a part of a season with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Retired uh, Hockey Hall of Fame, but Ron Francis is this team, and it's a shame he never did win a cup, which actually goes to show how hard it is to win a Stanley Cup. But yeah, that's my picks for the top five draft picks in Carolina slash Hartford Whalers history. Be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe. I believe with some of these lists, you could really break it into two lists, but. For me, it's just like, just combine them. They're the same organization. But anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions. Be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe down below. I'll be back with the Chicago Blackhawks. Yes, the Blackhawks. And there have been some good picks, some all right picks, and then some just downright dreadful picks. But every team has them. So this is my thoughts and opinions. Peace.